So what's the 10 ways Seago 600 electric bike? That's coming right up. Hey guys, it's Rick from Run Playback. Today I want to share with you my experience with the 10 ways Seago 600 electric bike. First things first, let me tell you a little bit about the company behind this sleek lime green and black urban commuter bike. 10 ways is a Netherlands based company made up of bike experts and enthusiasts who are passionate about sustainability and their skills are definitely reflected in the sleek and minimalist Seago 600. Let's start with the basics. The Seago 600 is an agile commuter e-bike that's suitable for any lifestyle, especially those who are coming from a cycling background. Whether you're zipping through crowded streets or cruising along a scenic path, this bike is so quiet and unassuming that you're able to just enjoy the ride. And the best part, it's light enough to be lifted by a single hand. That's right, this bike weighs in at a mere 33 pounds. Now let's talk about power. The Seago 600 has a 250 watt motor with three power levels that's really just meant to complement your pedaling since there's no throttle. The brushless hub motor is small and stealthy and features a magnetic torque sensor with an ultra smooth pedal assist. The torque sensor is tuned to feel exceptionally natural and if you want to hit its top speed of 20 miles per hour, you'll have to put it to work with some strong pedaling. So what about range? Well the 10 way Seago 600 boasts an impressive 43 miles of range on a single charge. Of course this will depend on your pedal assist level, terrain and weight. And speaking of charging, the 36 volt 7 amp hour integrated battery is hidden in the down tube and only takes 2.5 hours to fully charge. That means you'll spend more time on the road and less time waiting around for the battery to be ready. But that also means the battery isn't removable, which can be an issue if you wanted to hot swap with an extra pack for long trips. Here it is, the Tenway Seago 600. You have this really interesting branding over here, some cool patterns. The look of this bike is really striking. You have these thin 700C tires. You have the straight handlebars, Tektro hydraulic brakes, very minimalist. So you'll notice there's no throttle. If you look at the display, really, really minimalist. You basically have your miles per hour, your battery percentage, the headlight icon, total miles traveled, and then your pedal assist level. So if you go up, one, two, three. Top speed, about 20 miles per hour. Not bad. <laughs> if you hold down the plus button, that's how you turn on the headlight. So the battery lives in here. It's not removable. This is the charging port right there. However, it is super light. It's only 33 pounds. So front and rear fenders, they do include this little USB rechargeable tail light. You have a 250 watt motor. This is not that powerful, right? This is not a bike that will really give you a ton of torque or power. It does have a torque sensor inside of the motor. So it'll move naturally to how you like to pedal. It's really subtle. It's not a strong kind of torque. This is good for cyclists who want to get into e-bikes, but maybe they don't want all the power. Maybe they want something that looks really stealthy. If you saw this thing on the street, you couldn't even tell that it's an e-bike. The most interesting thing about this bike is the Gates carbon belt. So this is a belt drive on this giant sprocket over here. It gives you super silent transmission. It gives you really, really low maintenance. So you don't have to oil the chain or anything like that. And I believe it's rated for like thousands and thousands of miles before you'll actually notice some wear on it. The presentation, the website, everything about 10 ways is pretty solid. They're creating bikes that are just really Really minimalist you know they're not trying to be the fastest out there the most powerful just something that's really good looking with solid components all right so let's go in the street and see how it feels yeah super natural as soon as you get on super silent Now the size that we got is a medium, so this might look a little bit small. If you're over like six feet, um, you probably wanna go for the extra large. But man, this thing is really, really comfortable. So easy to maneuver, so lightweight. Feels really, really nice. Yeah, just like even going up this little hill feels good. Top speed. 18, 19, 20, 22 miles per hour. And I'm breathing a little heavy, which is good because I'm getting some physical exercise. It doesn't feel like a knee bike. I mean that in the best way possible. It really feels like you're doing all of the work, even though it's giving you this really subtle power, but you are using your legs. You are definitely getting physical exercise. And that's what's really cool about this bike. If you're not used to like road bikes like this, if you're not used to like single gear fixie bikes, it might feel a little bit weird. Now 
let's talk about the drivetrain because in my opinion, this is the most standout feature of the 10 way Seago 600. It has a single speed drivetrain with a Gates carbon belt that's durable, reliable, and never slips. Riding with a belt instead of a chain is an interesting experience. It's quieter, smoother, and is pretty much maintenance free. And with CST puncture proof 700C tires, you won't have to worry about flats or punctures. And let's not forget about the brakes. The Seago 600 comes equipped with Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, giving you reliable braking power whenever you need it. The concise OLED display is simple and easy to read on the go. And in terms of looks, the black and lime green on the 6061 aluminum frame is incredibly sleek and stylish. This is one of the best looking e-bikes I've seen in a long time. The sense of design and minimalism can definitely be appreciated by a variety of e-bike enthusiasts. Of course, no product is perfect and the 10-way Seago 600 is no exception. While it's a great bike for riders who are used to fixie bikes, it might not be as suitable for typical e-bike riders who want the option to rest their legs by using a throttle. Also, the 36 volt 7 amp hour battery is fantastic for keeping the weight down but also sacrifices range. Range anxiety is definitely possible if you take it for a long ride without any charging resources nearby. But to be fair, those are minor nitpicks for an e-bike that's trying to be more like a traditional bike than a high performance machine. Overall, I'm really impressed with the 10-way Seago 600 electric bike. It's minimalist, lightweight, and agile, making it perfect for commuting, leisurely rides, and everything in between. And with its black and lime green aluminum frame, it's also one of the coolest looking bikes on the market. Just understand that this is an e-bike for those who are used to riding thin tire, single speed road bikes. You'll also get more of a physical workout, which is a plus in my opinion. So if you're in the market for an electric bike that's sustainable, stylish, and fun to ride, look no further than the 10-way Seago 600. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.